Okay, generic greetings, everyone. Um, this is Richard, Richard Watson, you know, really cool guy who no one has ever heard of. Um, I am, I've just decided to play Minecraft for the, f for the heck of it. Um, and so I, you know, decided to start this series. Um, so, because it is indeed Richard's Minecraft world, because I am Richard, and this will be my Minecraft world. I'll be playing survival, obviously, of course, generate structures on, world type default, bonus chest off, because I'm not a pussy, be playing on hard mode, probably, solidly the entire time, no cheats, um, for the record, I was just saying the whole thing about the bonus chest, because it's, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm not actually a mean person, and I see where it would be, you know, useful and whatever, right? just for the record, but I am not using it, because it's not something which I really actually need, because I am a good player, and I am not a noob and that kind of thing, because only noobs ever need a bonus chest, right? Right? Yeah, okay, whatever. So... Found the seed. Um, I briefly looked around um, intransigent, um, random word that I found in the dictionary, which means um, refusing to compromise or stubborn. And because I am going to be intransigent in this series, I figured it would be appropriate. Um, actually, just kidding. That's a better seed. I looked through a couple of the different variations and that was the best one. So, um, and again, I didn't look much, but I looked enough that I got a sense for what was there to be sure that, you know, stuff was there. It wasn't, you know, for some reason just void, right? So, um, basically I'm just going to be doing a, you know, generic... I don't know if you want to call it a let's play. It's not really a let's play as such. I mean, it is, but let's plays get a bad rep, so I don't necessarily want to call it that. Um, one way or another, it's just basically me playing Minecraft because I felt like playing Minecraft. Um, that's really all it is. Hadn't even noticed this little cave let here before. Oh, it actually, it's actually a cave big enough cave that there's a creeper in it. I'll not bother him right now. Going on to grab wood first, obviously. Of course. It's not much here, is there? No. I might be dead soon if I keep this up. I don't have any torches or anything. This is actually a reasonably big cave. You guys probably can't see it because of the way YouTube transitions the, or, yeah, you know, the upload to YouTube messes with things, messes with the brightness. One thing that I always notice is that, you know, stuff that people have uploaded to YouTube from Minecraft is always a whole heck of a lot darker than they expect it to be. Um, also, for the record, I may as well say that, yes, I have been watching Etho videos. Yes, I have been watching obscene numbers of Etho videos. Yes, I have watched the first solid 150 Let's Play videos of his over the course of the past, like, month and a half or something. Yes, that's pretty absurd and stupid and basically a waste of my time, except that it hasn't been, and it has been very interesting. I've learned a lot, and it's been really cool to watch, you know, him build up from nothing, and I kind of want to do it myself, which is the main reason why I'm doing this, and I don't really expect it to be popular or anything, because, like, there's no gimmick, there's no real anything, and, you know, people haven't been able to get away with this kind of let's play of Minecraft since Alpha. Um, so, you know, I don't expect much, but 
whatever. I'm just going to basically do my own thing here, post it, and if you're watching this, then, you know, cool. Why not? Whatever. More than anything else, this is just going to be me, you know, for the sake of recording, recording, so that it's not just me and my Minecraft world. It's like all of YouTube experiencing the fury and wonder of my Minecraft world. Just in case something magical happens. Um, so I have no, I have no idea if anything actually will, but, um, yeah, I made sure that there was, like, a forest nearby, because I like starting off with, like, a forest kind of biome. It's nice. Um, but beyond that, I don't, I always do that every single time. That's annoying. Very annoying. Um, and yeah, I reset my achievements recently, so I am getting all of the achievements, and possibly if it doesn't get messed up one way or the other, um, at some point in the future, maybe we can even, like, maybe you guys can even watch me as I get all the achievements in the game, um, if it doesn't get reset, which it probably will, I don't know. Maybe at some point I'll try for all the achievements, but I'm probably not going to bother with it. And I can't tell if there's anything actually in this damn cave. Um, I need coal right ne now, really. I don't know. Probably going to get messed over by some random baddie coming out of one of these cavelets. Uh, it's going to be really bad. But... Right now, I'm just going to, you know, suck it up and, yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Um, so, for, first, I'm going to make a furnace, then I'm going to make pick, because wooden picks are garbage, and then two planks to three wood for torches. There's probably coal around here someplace, but I can't be bothered right now. I, w I just want the damn torches, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, and after that, I'll probably just try and light up some of these caves. Um, because this is probably where I'm gonna set up my first base. Um, Oh, this goes this way, but it too. Oh, look at this. Look at this! Wow, these cave systems are bigger than I thought they were. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, this will be a good place to start off then. Uh, we'll see what I can do with this. Um, I don't have as much experience building in these kinds of situations as some people, but... Oh, look, cool. Cool. Awesome. Try and use up my stone... Or, uh, my, um wooden pick first, but never making another one. Never, ever. Never again. Oh, that's a beautiful, oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that makes me happy. Getting experience for, yeah, I, I just switched, for the record, I just switched over to the 1.3, so the whole getting experience from ore thing is just amazingly, oh, that's cool. That's really cool can't wait until I start like mining on a regular basis and I'm just like raking in the XP. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. Alright, so I've got a big cave down there. Let me get the rest of this upper area lit up. I've got a bunch of um, surface accesses as well. New gravel texture, which is interesting. It's weird. It's like, it's just different. I don't know. It might grow on me, but right now it feels just weird. Feels really, I don't know. Doesn't feel right, but hopefully, hopefully it'll grow on me. Hopefully I'll get used to it. <sighs> don't despawn, pig. I know that you don't, but just don't. And uh, like, don't run away. And so yeah, there's a jungle over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a jungle off in that general direction. Um, did I check out this cave already? Here's coal. Oh wow, oh wow, this goes down. This goes quite a bit down. Oh, interesting. Yeah, just sort of dead ends. Oh, whatever. 
Maybe I'll extend my house over here, some sort of thing like that. I don't know. We'll see. See what I end up doing. Come on, get out. Get out. There we go. Um, and there's more jungle over in that direction. So, like, both sides, like, jungle over there and jungle over there. So that should be cool. Should be really awesome. Um, I've got a bunch of surface access routes like I've got over here then I've got over here I think someplace of yeah okay over here over here it breaks the surface oh tree in the middle of this thing oh that's cool that's kind of neat that looks nice oh look sugar cane grab sugar cane and yeah like right over there there's um is that a floating tree I think that's a floating tree it's a jungle over there and there's a floating tree here yeah huh it's always fun. It's always fun when that happens. So I've got my one sugar cane. That's all one ever really actually needs. I've got a bunch of birch wood around here, so that's cool. Uh, I've got the normal wood, so I've got all the, and the jungles should give me the jungle wood. So I should be basically set for various different types of wood. Let's see what's down here. Never explored this. No idea what's here. And it keeps going. Um, right then. Hang on a moment while I harvest this coal. Get experience for it. Haha, <laughs> awesome, cool. Um, so where do I expect to see myself going with this? Uh, I don't know. Right now I'm sort of looking in an etho kind of direction. I have no idea how that's going to evolve as I do this. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to get these episodes out on a regular basis just because it'll be basically record then post it um and i'll probably be doing a lot of additional stuff in the interim like between episodes i'll probably do like boring stuff that you guys don't need to see like just cleaning stuff up or you know if you've ever watched etho videos basically what he does um like when he just cuts away because basically right now etho is who i am modeling my series after in case that wasn't ridiculously clear already um and it's not just because he's immensely popular and you know it's not like i i'm just trying to copy him so that my series will be immensely popular i just you know i like his video i, I like his video style and i like his videos and it's fun for me to watch and i'm wondering if maybe I can pull it off and I don't really expect to so you know the fact that anyone has actually even seen this far is kind of cool um and frankly I don't really care that much so one way or the other but um eventually I hope to you know just continue this and get going with basically what I ordinarily do in any of my worlds um, though possibly on a grander scale than I've ever really been able to do before and record the whole process so that it can be you know really cool for everyone watching hits the surface again here cool interesting and then we've got more cave and more cave and it hits the surface wow that's very interesting. I don't think I've seen a cave in quite a while that does this kind of thing. And it's almost dark, so I kind of need to get back to where I was thinking of setting up my home base and, like, not mess around any longer. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably be doing the whole shebang with automatic farms of every possible type. I'll... You know, be doing whatever I can to come up with my own ideas and my own particular kinds of um, takes on all of the existing popular designs. And creating new versions of things as I see fit or am inspired to. Um, it should be entertaining, hopefully, for me and probably for anyone watching I'll try and keep it entertaining if there's even anyone watching which you know again I don't care but it would be cool I'll sort of be acting as though there is
for my, you know, sad, sad mental health. Um, I need to get these things blocked off. I need to get these things blocked off post haste. Um, so let's see, I guess there's a creeper right there. There is definitely a creeper right there. And I think I'm just going to do that for now because I don't have doors. Over here, I can just sort of do that, then that, because I don't actually have the support or um, resources to support actually doing it properly. I'll make doors and fill all this in properly in a bit, but not right now because I just don't have the time because bad things want to eat my face right now. If I'm still taking my time and trying to make it look sort of good, or at least not waste resources. Because that's the kind of guy I am. And yeah. Uh, eh, eh. See, now I'm resorting to like wasting my time getting gravel just to block off these darn holes. There. I should do it. So unless cave spiders come after me, I should be set. Or if, you know, the pigs turn evil. That would be bad. In fact, that would be absolutely terrifying. But, um... Alright. Darn it. Doors need to stack. I don't know why they don't, and they really need to. I almost expected to get my hindquarters blown off by a creeper. Right then. Alright, so there's a... Sort of you know, temporary entrance way. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks pretty bad, but it doesn't look too bad, sort of. Uh, I can get away with it. And let's see. I still have a little bit of cobble. I can probably get away with. No, I probably can't. Oh, well. That's an archer. Hello, archer. I'll just be going over here now, if that's okay with you. Um, so, I guess I'll end up just beautifying the area a little bit, and possibly blathering on a little bit more about stuff, if I can think of stuff to talk about. Nothing's coming immediately to mind. Um, I just can't wait until I get, like, the materials to really start up proper. Um, and when I was checking out this seed, um, like I say, I didn't do a hell of a lot, but I did go a little ways, and I happened upon this really awesome cave system, and I hope I find it again. Um, oh, I think, yeah, I know that sound. You jerk. Oh, the pigs are turning evil. They are trying, oh, oh, I did not know they did that. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a little bit terrifying. That's more than a little bit terrifying. Glad the door pops out. Stop it, pig. <laughs> I'm just using up all of my hunger, just whacking away at this one zombie. And... Ah, no, don't destroy my other door. Jerk. Oh, look at that. Look at that, the door stays broken. Oh, darn it. Ah, this is a bad situation we have encountered very bad situation here I'm starving to death for the record as well which is not good um, and because I am on hard mode I am probably going to die very very shortly either from this zombie or from starvation but first I am going to put this door back up just because because to heck with you that's why and as long as I die someplace around in here, I should be fine. I don't have anything that important on me. No. I've got, like, a bunch of coal. That's about it. Um, so... I die here. Yep. There we go. There we go. And now I respawn, and there are terrible things everywhere that want to eat my face. Uh, where did I go? Where did I even go? Um, I'm not even sure where I went. I think, oh yeah, I was over here, that's right, uh, that's right, okay, I can just, might even just be able to pop right back down into the caves without having to mess with anybody. 
Yeah, here's the entrance point. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here's right where I died. No problem. No problem at all. It's kind of intense that the zombies break down the doors like that now. I mean, I know that they broke down the doors before, but you couldn't actually see the doors breaking, so it's actually a bit more intense now. And, like, you can see that the door is, like, half broken. That's uh, kind of scary. Uh, it's intense. Playing on hard mode here. It's crazy. I need a sword. I need a sword badly. And no, I am not going to resort to using my pick. I know I definitely could get away with it, but I'm really not going to. I'm going to use up all my hunger again. I know it. It's That's... Darn it. As soon as I finish off this zombie, I'm going to... Just grab myself a proper sword and be properly equipped next time. Oh, no, I'm not going to get myself a sword. Fine, then. Fine, then. See if I care. See if I care. Oh, well, at least I can get some iron smelting. Um, let's see. Uh, I wonder what my first project should be. I guess I should probably get a wheat farm started pretty soon. Uh, it should probably be a priority, especially now that I've got iron to work with. I can, um... No, I'm not going to waste another coal. Um, now that I've got iron to work with, I can probably get away with um, making a bucket. Then I'll be able to put water wherever I want. Uh, so I'll probably get some infinite water springs in through here. Hello, creeper. Don't mind me. I'm just... You jerk. You jerks. You complete jerks. Uh, you... Ah, I don't like those guys. I do not like those guys at all. They're just terrible, terrible, terrible. They're just terrible. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, bucket. So I can now make a farm, and that'll be a source of food. Hopefully I won't die from starvation again, because that was lame. Um, like, that's, like, of all the ways to die, that's just, you know, lame. So maybe I'll go out and grab seeds. Hopefully I don't get blown up. I also need more wood. Um, yeah, hi there. Hi there, spider. You're not supposed to be aggroed now, are you? Hello, creeper! Hello. Good to see you on this fine, fine summer's day. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and not let you blow my face up. No, don't. No, no. No, now see what you did see what you did you blew up a gigantic friggin hole in the ground That's just a great big eyesore. I'm gonna have to do something about it later because there's no way I'm gonna just leave that there Although if I do now, I'm gonna sound really stupid for having just said that um, I Wish creepers would just learn from their friends who blow up accomplish nothing and just leave a gigantic hole. Like, that's just, like, what a way to go. That's just horrible. Like, if you just didn't mess with me, then there wouldn't be a problem. Like, everyone would be happy and, you know, wouldn't have to deal with all this garbage. But no, they don't learn. They just keep fooling with me. And yes, I do realize that I am stealing a whole heck of a lot of dialogue from Etho at this point. And, you know, whatever. Um, he's a cool guy, and he's... You know, he knows what he's doing, so, you know, at least at least I'm stealing from someone who knows what he's doing, right? Um, and I'll probably pop a couple links in the description, just to make up for it. Because, you know, that makes it okay, right? Hello, group of archers who are still under the trees and not burning because they've found shade. I hate you. I hate, I hate, I just don't like the hostile mobs at all. Especially this early on. Like, later on, you're just going to be annoyances. Now you're just annoyances, but you're just annoying enough to be significantly annoying. Which, you know... I don't like annoying things, so, you know, I, I think I think it makes a reasonable amount of sense. 
it is good that I have chickens and pigs and stuff around. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to eventually set up all kinds of, you know, pig pen and not the Charlie Brown character, the um, actual kind of pen that has pigs in it. Um, and, you know, chicken farm and all those kinds of things. Get a shoot for eggs to you know, like set up so that like there's constantly a pile of eggs someplace that kind of thing you know cool kinds of stuff what did I go out for I'll give it I went out for seeds that's what I went out for I knew I'd forgotten I also might as well grab some water while I'm at it if I can find some almost expecting that spider to jump me again seeds why yes I do have some seeds now excellent um that that is surprisingly fun to do it's just yeah seeds watches in some update it'll be like two punches per grass and you have to go around ponderously whacking each grass block that'll take all the fun out of it yeah yeah watch it's gonna happen it's gonna happen I'm calling it right now Oh, clay, cool. I may as well grab that while I'm here as well. A uh, bucket. Then I'll grab the clay. Because clay is cool. And no, I'm not going to... If I find some way to mess with my viewers, like Etho did with his clay, like I'm going to do it in a cooler way than that. Or at least I'm going to do it in a more original way. Because that's, like... I wouldn't do exactly what he did. Um... For the record, if people don't know Etho, like, for one thing, you should check out Etho because he is a really cool guy and he has a really fun Let's Play that's really nice and fun and interesting. And basically what he did was he, on, on his original Minecraft world, he's, he's since ditched, uh, um... He basically just left an entire patch of clay entirely untouched simply because early on a bunch of people were telling him to like harvest the clay like he hadn't noticed it or something and like a bunch of people told him to harvest the clay so he just didn't harvest the clay and then like over the course of the entire series he just never harvested the clay and just was messing with people that way. Oh, he did it. It was actually kind of classy. It was a little funny. You know, it was kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, I can appreciate that. But I'm not going to do exactly the same thing because that would just be lame. Um, and yeah, let's see. Let me plant some more sugarcane. That's always good. Right? Everyone loves sugarcane. Sugarcane is always nice to have. Um, may as well collect the flowers while I'm at it, I guess. Uh, and bone meal will get me more of these eventually. I'll set up like a um legit mob system, like you know, either Etho style or some other similar permutation there. Pawn, get a nice big spawning area set up, then connect up like probably like mob filters and that kind of thing. Go all out with it; it'll be fun. Should be cool, should be neat, should be interesting, fun to watch, fun to do. Wow, almost two stacks just from that, that's cool. I forgot how much clay you get when you're just harvesting it. Uh, I probably want some chests, so I'll make some chests. And then I'll place the chests. I can go there for now. Take a good look, people, because this is going to be a lot cooler sometime in the not too distant future. Um, yeah, I don't know about this area. This is going to get absurd fast. Uh, I'm going to need to do something about that walkway over there. And then, yeah, I'm going to need to do something about this. And then, like, block off areas down there or something, clean this entire area up. 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, at any rate, I guess I will get back to you guys once I've done that. So, see you guys later.